Hi guys, it's me, Ursula Thomas, and y'all, it is a lot going on. I'm I'm talking a lot, a lot going on. I have so much to share with you guys, but I don't know if I'm going to get an opportunity to share everything with you guys today. I'm going to try my best. Whew, i take a sip of coffee before we get into it, y'all. I've been ripping and running, y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I had to put my chair here to help me out. Uh, this is, okay, whew, okay. So let's get into it. All of my, you know what? I think I'm gonna jazz it up, then I'm gonna break off into this. Hey, welcome to my channel. Hey, don't you know this is a thrift show? Whoa, hey, now let's get off into it. All of my subbies that been down. Hey, hey, you know the deal, you know the drill. Okay. Y'all, all of my old subbies that have been down with me, thank you guys so much. I have so much love for you. All of my new subbies, thank you for joining the family. All of my pastor by saying, who is that? Who is that? I am Ursula Thomas, and this channel was based it, founded, originated on thrifting. But I do try to throw other things. Uh, I want to start like a little juicing vlog journey or whatever. So, hey, uh, health journey because, um, you know, it's always about getting as healthy as you can possibly be. So, I do like to throw those things in there. So, it is so much. Y'all, it's a collective haul. It is so much I want to share with you guys. It is... Yeah, happy December. I actually thought about vlogging every day, but honey, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. And I got to devote some time to my, which I love both of my channels, but my love with my husband is Jim Ursula TV. Yes, darling. So, uh, we got to get some content over there because when that pandemic hit, honey, we, you do, and people need it now more than ever. We're going to jump into this vlog. I have Walmart. I have thrifting. I have my little dot, my little store, my little box store I go to. I have what? A little bit of everything, y'all. So let's get started. Uh, dirt cheap. We're going to start with dirt cheap. So I showed you guys this last time, right? Remember. Well, I added some more glasses to the collection. So I wanted to show you guys. Y'all see? Can you see? So, you said, well, what did you add? I added just a little fun glass, y'all. They was 50 cents at Dirt Cheap. I added these. Just some uh, mirror glasses. I added, what else did I add? Uh, hold on, y'all. Let me see so I can see better. I added these. I added these. And that they uh, see got Dirt Cheap, but you know they from Target. Uh, what else? Yeah, I added these. This kind of like my brown collection. And then, the only other ones I added in the black collection, I think, were these. Which, I really do like these. I like the, uh, look of these. I hate my phone, yeah. Yeah. I added these. Okay, so... That was it. They were 50 cents a piece, so I ended up paying $2 for all of the ones that I added. Okay, now, woo child, I think I'm going to start with Walmart because it's only one thing. I didn't find anything really that I was just, I wasn't looking for nothing. So, uh, so we'll start with Walmart. Excuse me for being down. I don't know about the people that, I hope I don't knock my coffee over, that might be looking for the jacket. You know, we just call them flannel shirts. But, uh, so I went to Walmart, and it, this is not as long as the other ones, but it served the same purpose. If you're really into that, you're looking for something like that, you don't want to spend a lot of money because you don't think you're going to wear it all the time, but you do like it. Uh, you want to add it to your wardrobe? I paid $21, I think, for this. And they had different colors. This is just the color that I like. So, I grabbed this. And it is warm, y'all. Because back in the day, they used to have, like, uh, vinyl or something inside. But, honey, they done up the game. I guess because they know people are looking for these. And they buying them like hotcakes. So, you have, like, this fleece on the inside. It's really warm. I have... 
I bought it, and as soon as I bought it, I went to the car chat and put it on. I ain't wash it. I went to the car and put it on. And I have worn it and worn it ever since. I did style it up, and I will try to insert a picture show you guys how I kind of styled it. I felt like playing around with it. So I got this from Walmart for $21, and I will show you what I styled it with. That's the only reason I brought these. I bought these. I don't know if I ever shared these with you guys. I bought these from Zara. Oh, God. Months ago. It had to be in the summertime. And it was only 20 bucks. It's a faux leather... Uh, little uh like coverall with silver hardware and it was only 20 bucks y'all and it is so cute to me i love it so this is what i kind of styled it up with oh i love it only 20 bucks y'all and i got it from zara it has two pockets in the front and it has two pockets in the back now it does kind of pull a bit in the back like i I could put a bed on to kind of tighten it up, but other than that, super duper adorable. I like it. Okay, now, so that's the only reason I brought this, so I can show y'all what I style the shacket up with. Okay, let's move it, move it, move it. Next we have, I'm going to try to, I don't want to knock my carpet over, y'all. We're going to get off into the, I think, bargain bun, I think it's where I, Picked up a couple of these little items. So, next thing y'all know, I always pick up pajamas. Nothing fancy. They were brand new. And they just pink with polka dots. I know the camera going to change because it's a light color. But, yeah, I always pick up two-piece pajama sets. And these pajamas actually had pockets. That's a plus plus. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I feel like I'm crooked, y'all. Let, let me. Hold on. Because I'm feeling real crooked, crooked right about now. Hold on. Let's see. That's a little better. Is that better? I think that might be better, y'all. Okay, so the reason I always pick up pajamas is because you know how you travel and you go places and you visit people, whatever the case may be. I love a nice, cute pair of pajamas and I like a matching set. Now, I don't sleep in them when I'm at home, but I like to have them, so I do pick up pajamas quite often. Okay. Y'all, that is so good. Y'all remember my cup? Ooh, she drank so good, y'all. That is so good. Next, I picked this up. Oh, my gosh. I was actually in line. I got this from the Goodwill. I was actually in line. It, they, it was $4.99, half off. I love this skirt, and I'm going to tell you why I look. Can y'all see the beauty, the sheen, chai, and it got... Oh my god, y'all will see it. Oh, um, I love this skirt and it's dressy, but now you know how they do. You can get you some if you got Gucci tights or you want that Gucci type feel, you know, if that's your deal. But get you some cute little tights to go under here. Uh, you know, designer type. When I say designer, I'm not talking about high neighbor, I'm talking just has designs in them with combat boots if that's your thing and a chunky sweater if that's your thing if not you can really dress it up i love this material i love this skirt i don't know i i know how i'm going to wear it because i know that's my preferred style but your preferred style it can be so dressy it is long i do like it i really do and it was only 250 because it's a lot of stuff guys i have gotten rid of and believe you me i have learned my lesson so when i brought all this in had a whole big old chunk of bag a chunk of chunk of bag went out next i got and i could not leave this for the nostalgic of it for me I got this from my store. I think I showed you. If I can find it in the cards, I'll show it. i put it up where I actually uh, took you guys because I always talk about the store. And I took you guys with me because I do not know the name of it. But they have excellent deals. And that's my problem. I always go somewhere where they got good deals. That ain't a problem, though. That's a blessing. But when I saw this, y'all, do y'all see that goodness? Do y'all see that goodness? That's the Run D and the C. Run DMC, baby. Yes, I had to get it. Y'all know I love t-shirts anyway. But I had to get the Run and the D and the C. And then this was $5. And then I got this. Now, we're going to see how this do in a month or so. I'm looking for some shiny faux leather. Because I have enough of the original faux leather. Faux leather. 
calm down, Ursula. Faux leather. But I wanted some shiny faux leather pants. I didn't find the shiny faux leather pants. But you know, God's so good to me and favor so heavy on my life. I did find this faux leather shiny skirt. But I don't know if I'm a fan of it yet. I I because I was finna donate it, then I was like, you know what? Calm down, Ursula. Give yourself a minute. Give yourself a minute. Then the next thing I got, I went to the same little location, and they sell a lot of Target stuff, y'all, for a dollar. That's why it's so hard for me to go and Target and spend money, because I find they, I find it at dirt cheap. I find it at the other little store. But anyway, it's just an off-the-shoulder. Now, imagine, it's like the same material of that skirt. Imagine it with that skirt if you're going somewhere, or just with some faux leather pants, or just with some jeans if you want to be fancy. It would be so cute. So this was a dollar, y'all. Brand new. I don't know who. Where, uh, it says Shaper. No, Shape FX. I don't know. But anyway, it was a dollar in my little store I go to. Next, I got this. And I was definitely influenced when I got this. But I got so tickled after I got it. Because I have another one similar to it. I had three. I got rid of. I gave one to my daughter. I kept one. Then I found this one. Now I'm telling you this. The reason I got this is because I love now this new uh, at-home leisure wear with the three pieces. I'm on the hunt for me some. I think they're so cute. And you can run out in them. I can't wait to be able to find me some for the spring and the summer. The three piece that you can just put on. You can run out in them. But when I found this big chunky chunky sweater here, y'all. And it's definitely old. And I think it's an old Walmart. It's either an old Walmart or old J.C. Penney's brand. But it is so heavy and so chunky. And I got it from the bargain bun. And I, it's so heavy. And you know they charge you by the pound. I was like, I don't know why I want this. But anyway, I got this thinking like, yeah, you know how they had this and wear it around the house with it. Yeah, I was like, who going to wear this around the house and burn up? Unless you just keep a cold house. But I don't, I'm, I love coats. But if I don't have to wear one, I won't. So I was like, I'll get it. And then, like, when I don't feel like wearing a coat, I can just throw it on. But I ain't going to button it up. It's so big. It's so chunky, y'all. It really is. And it would, I don't know how, now it does have like a few imperfections. I don't know if you can really see it in the camera, but it's nothing that would hinder us or uh, make me not, you know, make me not want it. But yeah, I love it. And it is, I think it's an old, I think it's an extra large, but uh, yeah, I absolutely, absolutely love the fit of it. And when I say it's heavy, guys, it's heavy. So I grabbed that. Next thing, I'm running out of room. It's going to tumble over. <laughs> the next thing I got, guys, was just this, just some throw-on stuff because, oh, excuse me, who really going somewhere? And I'm not a person that just go to go, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like, I do like to go, but I like to have somewhere to go, not just um, getting in the car just riding around, which I do do that now. Let me just hush and show y'all the clothes. Anyway, I just grabbed this just pink t-shirt on. Really, now, I really did grab this just to wear around the house. And if I if I have it on, I have to go somewhere to, uh, you know, throw it on with air. Now, I thrifted this. All this came from the bunk. And the, I have been buying these like crazy from Walmart. I have almost every color except red and orange. And I don't want my black ones. I need to buy another pair of black bottoms. So when I saw these at the thrift store, of course I got them. And so I already wore this with this. And my, uh, because I like the fact now that they are styling these up. But I just, you know, just threw it on and ran out. I love, I love when I see them style these up with blazers. Like the whole suit, cuff them and put them up with blazers. I love that look. So I might even do that look. Next is just a fun item that I got from Dirt Cheap. And it is, <laughs> it's this Yuletide Christmas sweater. And I thought me and my husband could take a picture in it. If we don't, I'm sure my daughter would love it. Her and her husband. But, yeah, I just grabbed that for $3, Yuletide. I thought it was funny and just something a little Christmassy to have on hand. Next thing I got, guys, was this belt. I love this belt. I don't know. Let's take a second and see. 
It's just, oh, Chico's. Okay. It's Chico's, but look at that design of the belt. And that's why I got it. I'm going to show you guys. Y'all see that? I love this belt. And I have to make sure that it had enough hoops. And, like, I could add another one if I choose to. But look at that. I, look at that. I love this belt. I really do. And it was only a dollar. And it's genuine leather. And that silver hardware right there, y'all, it is heavy. Now, let's get into <laughs> the wish stuff, y'all. Okay, so y'all know I'm always talking about being healthy on journey. I really am, y'all. So I found this gem. I'm debating should I try it on to show y'all what it look like now so y'all know how far I have came. Y'all, this is so cute. It's definitely vintage. I might get brave enough to try it on so y'all can see what it look like now. So when I do be able to wear it, y'all be, oh, girl, yeah. But she, look at this. She has like, what you call it? Is that like the sweetheart neck or it dips right there? It does have a little wire to like hold you up right there. Comes up around your neck. She's definitely vintage. She's simple, but she's vintage and she's cute. And I can't see what collection. Joseph. Y'all see that? Is it going to focus? I don't think it's going to focus, y'all. Can y'all see that? Okay, there we go. Okay, so my camera cut off, so I ran and got this one. I hauled this one before I thought about it because if you live in a warmer place and you might not want all that fleece on the inside, this is just a regular shirt. It has no fleece or nothing on the inside. It still gives you, it's much longer. It still gives you that same effect. If that's the effect you're looking for and you don't have to worry about getting too hot. So I thought about that. Okay, now. Let's move ahead. Okay, y'all. So, I am going to show... I'm just dropping right there. I am going to show you guys a picture that influenced me so much, guys. But before I do that, let's go ahead on and talk about this blazer right here, honey. Woo! This definitely is vintage. It's variation. That's what it says, honey. That's what it says. But look how it's cut. I love the fact that it's too tall. Dale's had a little hound's tooth uh, hanky right there. But, guys... See, that, see, that's why I love vintage. It was all about detail. Do y'all see that? On the buttons, y'all. Y'all see that? So, yes. Influenced by Viola Davis picture. But I want to make it my own. So, I did go a little overboard. I'm not going to lie. So, the first thing is, I already had this suit. I had forgot I had this suit, guys. I already had this suit. Sometimes it look a little navy to me. Sometimes it look a little black. But anyway, I love this blazer. I love the shape and the cut of this blazer. I absolutely do. I love it. And I love the fact that it has snaps, y'all. Anyway, it came, like I said, with the pants, the matching pants. Now, it does have have like some little small imperfections like you see like right there it's snag but that does not bother me but y'all I took it up a notch and now that I look at it the suit do look navy because the vest look black but honey I added this vest and I liked that but then I didn't stop there because I thought you know what I could use this jacket <laughs> With this matching skull. Look at that. Then I did stop there. Yeah, I told you I went a little overboard. I found a coat. <laughs> Another skull. Now, I did take this skull and cut it and made it a tie. So, y'all will see the look, but I love it. Now, y'all know I do not need another coat, another jacket, but y'all, I could not leave this. Oh, my God, this thing is so heavy. I had them, I found it at the bargain bar, and I had them to weigh it by yourself. This thing was $8. This thing is so heavy. It's, it's, the brand is symbolic. Y'all, this was $8. It was not hurt. But, when I tell you guys, this thing is so heavy. I'm serious. Like, if you weak in the arms, I wouldn't even tell you to try to lift this thing up. I'm, I'm for real, for real. But, yes, it was $8. But do you think I could leave it? That's, you know, sometimes we just got to be real. Do you really think I could have left this 
eight dollars, y'all. Eight dollars in perfect condition. No way. No. It's showing a little too much. I forgot I had on these light tights. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. But anyway, yeah. So that didn't have me sit myself right on back down. Okay, this thing is so heavy, y'all. Okay, we just going to flop that up there. Next, I got these from Dirt Cheap, and I had to get them. It's the color. It's the color. Will y'all look at this color? They are four leather pants. They were $7. They probably going to end up going down some more. They were $7. Oh, I forgot, y'all. Anyway, I got so many videos I want to do for you guys. They were $7, but look at that color. It's like a... I would say if it was a hair color, I would say auburn. It's not burnt orange. It's like a reddish brown. Oh, it's so pretty. And it does have that paper bag waist. They was only $7 at Dollar Tree. And see? See what I'm talking about? They from Target. Who, what, where? See that? From Target. That's what I be talking about, y'all. That's why it's hard for me. Target probably selling these for $30, $40. I want a dirt cheap guy for $7. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Okay, so next, because guys, we got to get to the exciting stuff. I think I'm going to say this dollar stuff that I got from the uh, dollar places. But I'm going to show you another dirt cheap. From dirt cheap. I love the color. But I'm going to tell you, it's a turtleneck sweater dress. And it is a target brand. It's a target brand. The only thing I wish is, I wish I would have found it in a small or extra small. Y'all say, what? I'm going to tell you why. When you find dresses a lot of time like this, they have this much. Let me show you. They lose their shape. See, I mean, this thing could stretch from the north to the south. I'm serious. 3X or whatever. Don't be, if you see these kind of dresses, don't be scared to get them in, a, in, a, in a, like a smaller, smaller size. The stretch is just... It's going to stretch till it can't stretch no more. But that's what makes me nervous is because it will lose. I feel like it will lose after a few washes. It's just going to lose its shape and it's not going to be as flattering as it probably would be. And I didn't think about that because I just saw it and I was like, oh, I've been looking for something. Like, and I just grabbed it. I knew one for $7 from Dirt Cheap. But, um, no, I didn't even pay $7 for so this. I think I paid, yeah, I think it was 7 Yeah. But that's the only downfall, but I love the color. Okay. And it is a fashion nova, and it was still new with tags. And I got this because I love having, like, party-type, like, uh, things like this in my wardrobe. I'm just that kind of person. But uh, I know some people shear away from it, but I'm going to tell you why I don't. You can easily class it, class it. Class this up if it, you feel like it's too unclassy. All you have to do is put you a black, uh, what you call, oh, come on, brain. Not turtleneck. Oh, my brain, my brain is pooting, y'all. What is it called? Collar shirt. Just throw your black collar shirt on under here. Or you could just do a white collar shirt on under here. Let it button up. Get you a belt belted. Throw your blazer on with it. And I'm telling you, that look will... It, it would jazz it all the way up. Next thing I found from Goodwill. Now, some of these Goodwills were in town. Some of them were out. This one was actually out of town. It is a Banana Republic. I had to think of that night. Banana Republic blaze. It still had the tag on it. They were selling it for, I think that's, can y'all see that? One or nine. I got it for like five bucks. She is so chic and so nice, guys, that I could not leave her she just she's really really nice and she just button up under your breast and you just take the little thing it snaps and you can probably snap it here snap it in the back and she has pockets so uh yeah i went ahead on and got it she could have been a, a snatch bigger but she okay she okay. She still can do what she need to do. Okay? Okay. Alright, now I got to go ahead on. I'm going to show y'all one more item and then I'm going to have to show y'all the start of the this show. Right here, I picked up this little number here, this little polka dot number. Now, y'all know how I am. Anything that has frilly frilly at the end, I'm a fan of it because it looks uh 
I like the way it looks on me and my body type. So, of course, it got huge polka dots. And I did not know it was a Shein dress. I just saw the polka dots and the frilly frilly. I got it from the Goodwill. Next thing I got it here, it is so cute, y'all. It is tie-dye, so it's on that tie-dye trend. If you like the trend, and it has the matching skirt, you will see it when I try it on. So, I grabbed this at the regular Goodwill. And... Yes, it is so comfortable. I I could get away with wearing it now, just a turtleneck and put like some thick tights on on it and some boots. You'll see it in the try on. The neck with this little number here. I don't know why I've always ended up looking like getting animal prints, but y'all look at that. Oh, I just like that. And then she has the matching skirt. She's definitely a spring piece or a summer piece because she's see-through, she's thin. But I do believe I could winterize it up, child. Winterize it. Now, I had to run through that to get to the star of the show. I need a song. You know what I'm saying? When I have the star of the show, I need a song. I, I got I to gotta create a song for the star of the show. Y'all, this beautiful. Y'all know how I am about coats, and I don't need another coat. I got to try to find out how to secure my coats that I have in the garage. But my husband brought me this. Now, when he brought it to me, I was like, I don't need another coat. But I tried it on. I was like, well, I don't have a navy blue one. Double-breasted, right? Right. She gorgeous. She gorgeous. She gorgeous. All by herself, she gorgeous. Now, I slick kind of think it could be a man's coat. I don't care. Y'all, y'all see what I paid for? Let me see. Can y'all see that? Come on. There you go. Now, do y'all want to see who it is? Any good, only thing wrong with it is one of the pockets, y'all. Y'all see that? Can y'all see? Yes! And see, this is... This is why I thrift. Ooh! This is why I thrift. Because I find great things. I find great things. Yes. Yes. And that's all I can say. It's yes, yes, and yes. So, guys... <laughs> I'm going to stop it here because I have a lot more to show you guys. I do want to bring you guys more content in December. I do want to take you guys around the house and show you guys thrifted furniture. Because a lot of times we don't talk about the thrifted furniture that I find. I find a lot of thrifted furniture just like I do. Clothes, baby, you will see. Not only that, I do want to bring you guys that video that I talked about. About the, remember the Dollar Tree faux leather uh, bows? How I told you you can wear them as a bow tie. They're... They for your hair. I do want to do that, guys. But that might, what I might do with that is just pop on and just do like a style. Just wanted to show you how I do that and not long at all. I don't even know if I'm talking that one. And then, like I said, I do want to just bring you guys more content. And I do want you guys, if you have not, please pop over and check out Jim and Ursula TV. Especially if you are in a relationship, any kind of relationship, baby. It's based on marriage, but relationship is relationships, honey. Yes, that'll take you through. Friend girl, uh, friend boy, uh, uh, cheering, uh, mama, daddy. They, we, they are, we, are, we are relationship people. And honey, they can take you through. They can take you all up and through there. So with that being said, that's all I have for you guys. Please be the solution to somebody's problem. Because honey, I'm going to tell you, every day somebody need that prayer. They need that help. They need that hug. They need that smile. They need to know that somebody care. And what better way to show somebody that you care than to pray for them, to let them know it's going to be all right, that God is in control no matter what it looks like, no matter what it seems like. You always have to remember, and if you don't know, now you know, Jeremiah 29, 11, and it says that God has the plan for your life, honey. And that's one of our uh, focus scriptures in the class that I go to is Jeremiah 29, 11, honey, and it tells us God has it in control. 
He created you. He know the plan that he had for your life. And it's not to bring you disaster. And you say, well, why Why then? Why is all this disaster happening? Honey, child, child let me tell you something. A lot of times, girl, that be from uh, generational situation and curses that have been released and nobody has paid attention enough to know that they need to cancel that thing out. Sometimes it's by your own words. Proverbs 18 and 21 said, death and life lies in that tongue of yours, honey. What are you saying? What are you saying? Because you're going to have what you say. You know how sometimes you'll say something you'll be like, golly, I said that. Well, of course you said it because there's power in you. My battery been linking, so that's letting me know it's time to go. I love you guys. Bye. Be the solution. Mwah!